my gosh. That's the moon. I don't know if you can see me or if you can see the moon. It's giant. It's a full ass moon. <laughs> yeah, I just ended up like swerving down onto a dirt road and chasing it until it came out in like this perfect little clearing in the trees. And people ask me why I built a deck on the top of my van. <laughs> Smyrna Beach again. I am very quiet right now. Uh, I don't know who else has a lot of social anxiety or just anxiety about being out in public in general. I haven't been on camera for a while. I just needed a work day, a reset day, uh, get life back to square one day. Edited and cleaned out the van and did all the things and now I'm in New Smyrna. Yeah, I'm just readjusting to being alone. It takes a couple days. One of the things that I've found that helps me if I'm starting to feel kind of that social anxiety of, of being alone and there's people everywhere out, outside in the world <laughs> as they as they tend to be, I tend to go back to the places where I already know I'm I've been and I know the layout of and like the way of things. <laughs> a sure place to park or a sure place to, like I know there's a trash can or a bathroom or like a nice beach. You know, it's things that I already know. That's why I'm back at this beach and why I went to the forest to reset because both of these places feel like safe spaces. <laughs> <laughs> for me anyway i plan to start branching back out again this week and going to new places but while i'm readjusting to just being alone i'm just back at places that make me feel comfortable and i know i feel comfortable in and so i'm gonna go to the beach do some journaling just like take a chill pill that was really long-winded anyway It is posting day. That means my video is going to post and I don't have any of it ready. So I'm going to get up and I'm going <laughs> to um, make some coffee and put in all the, the info on my video before it goes live because it's going live and I'm not ready, which is normal. Okay. If you're wondering how I work on my computer, I get good service here, and so I just use my phone's hotspot. I have like an unlimited hotspot, and I'm just connected to it, and I get internet. Usually, if I'm like uploading a video, I'll go to Starbucks or McDonald's or something and just mooch their Wi-Fi until the video uploads. at a place uh, I'm at a beach I found a beach that is right up next to the water and this is like one of my favorite things about vanning is that my bed is in the back so I just backed in and now I'm gonna open the doors and just hang in my bed next to the ocean Wow, there's so many people surfing out there yeah I need some lunch A 
additional handy feature of my van in case I don't want to use my laptop as a food board. Just velcroed this in. the last couple nights. It has been a really good parking lot. Very quiet. It appears there are other occupants tonight who are not quite as stealth as me and the one white truck that has been parking here. They have like an air conditioning unit going and it's really loud. Good morning. Anyone else wake up in their van looking like they live in a bygone era? <laughs> I sat up in bed and was like, oh, I look like from olden times. <laughs> it's like, eight o'clock, I slept way in, so I'm gonna get dressed. Folks, it is time for a shower. I've had my hair in this braid for too many days. I am outside of an Anytime Fitness. I'm gonna go shower. I feel like I'm making potions. <laughs> okay, I am freshly showered and really just going nuts. I'm really going nuts. I'm gonna be completely honest here. It's been a couple days since Isabel left and I. I cannot get my brain back. I swear to God, I just, I, it's like I've forgotten how to be alone. I am, I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> I think it's because like everywhere I've been in Florida outside of uh, Osceola forest has been just really developed. I think I'm just in the wrong places. <laughs> I'm in like the city. It's not my, it's not my jam. So I just found what looks like a wildlife preserve or some I don't know what I found it I just found it on a map I'm gonna go there it's like 30 minutes from here so I'm gonna just it looks like there's dispersed wild camping which is a hundred percent my jam so I'm gonna just go do that tonight and I've been eating like shit since Isabel left so I think I'm gonna have some spring rolls for dinner god I'm just gonna try recenter I it's just oh I don't want to pretend it's all happy and hunky dory, you know, because it's I'm I feel like I'm going crazy. It's like I can't remember how to be alone. I hate that so much because I love being alone. We're gonna get back. Come on, Hannah. <laughs> Here we go. Let's hope this place is good. Okay, Google Maps. This is an ink. This is not correct. I don't think. <laughs> that says no trespassing. Where are we going? This looks right. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a wild hog. Looks like we're gonna be very cautious around here. I'm gonna Google wild hogs now, just to, just to know. That was unexpected. I thought that was a very large, misshapen dog. <laughs> All right, well maybe I'll tame one and make it a pet. Van hog. Okay. Looks like I made it to the park though. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> it's just a road. Lots of swampy, swampy area. Definitely alligators. Definitely wild hogs. Oh. Here we go. This spot looks very close to the water. Maybe I just park here for a second. Will she get stuck? That's the real question. I'm having such a hard time picking a camp spot. Yeah, it feels right now like a choose your own adventure. It changes the experience you're gonna have. Turn to page 97 if you want to get eaten by an alligator. Turn to page 63 if you want to have a beautiful night under the stars. You just never know. That's how I feel about campsites right now. I can always go backwards, I guess, so. I'm going really slow. I know it looks like I'm going really fast, but I'm literally going under 10 miles an hour right now. <laughs> Just here for a joyride. Don't mind me. Okay, once again, I've reached a spot where I don't want to take my van any further than this because there's nowhere to turn around. I'm gonna go walk and see if this road gets better or if the camping is worth it down here. Oh, don't forget the key. You know, I still haven't Googled what to do if you run into a wild boar. I figure you just tell them politely to leave you alone. You know what? I feel better. <laughs> I feel so much better. It's always about getting away from people. That's all it is. I need to learn that that's my solution because Every time I just get back out into nature, I feel fine. back at my camp spot after running errands. I'm gonna look around because this place is pretty cute. Okay, what's the deal? Are there not alligators here? Why is there a rope swing? <laughs> Do people just, they're just like, f*** it. <laughs> I wanna get in the water. This looks exactly like the kind of place that would have alligators. Maybe that's why these shoes are still here. <laughs> okay. Right. What do we think? Should I do it? <laughs> what I did in Florida. And like I said earlier, I've been eating like shit. And I went grocery shopping and I got veggies. <laughs> so I feel like I should eat them. So I'm making spring rolls again because that's all I know how to make. Oh my gosh. Not with that cucumber. Ew. Oh, I can't eat good food on my own. I just can't do it. It's like I, everything just goes bad because I don't eat it fast enough. Let's see what we can do with all this.
calculate whether I can rearrange a few things and sneak away long enough to make lunch plans with a, a friend. I've arrived Hi. to You know what? I think I have to just stay here forever. This is like the most calm, happy, peaceful, wonderful I have felt in a long time. It's amazing. I've just been working all day, just editing, but I keep getting to go outside and being completely alone. There's nobody out here. I can just lay on my roof or run around or just walk and sing and dance and nobody's here. It's amazing. The secret to all of my happiness is literally not being around people. It sounds a little sad, but it's not. This is my natural habitat, <laughs> I've decided. If I go like this, I kind of look like an egg. About the sponsor for today's video, sponsors keep... Hey guys, it's time to talk about... Excuse me, dude. There's nothing here for you. Oh my gosh. When I tell you I just edited for all day, like all, all day, like I'm so sick of staring at my screen. But hey, the location was pretty nice, but I'm starving and I haven't had spaghetti in what feels like years. I think I'm gonna make spaghetti on my roof up there, but it's cold. So I'm gonna throw some leggings and a sweater on. Let's sit outside. Oh my gosh. I've been in my van all day. Life feels so much better than it did yesterday morning before I got here. Okay. Better believe this is where the big ass, tall ass, long ass tripod comes in. So that you guys can be with me on the, on the ceiling, on the roof. I'm not gonna pour the pasta on the ground. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, my Parmesan is in the fridge. Oh, okay. We'll just use it. Life is so good. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this could get any better.
you know, this this moment right here makes every time I'm lonely or sad or feel like I'm just drifting around worth it. This is this is <laughs> this is literally the reason I do anything in my life ever. Like these fucking moments, these like where am I? <laughs> like nobody, not a single person knows I'm here. No one in the world knows where I am right now. God, there's just something so fucking magical about it. Like I'm just sitting in the middle of nowhere, eating spaghetti on my roof. Do do ridiculous shit. That's all. That's all anyone should do ever. There's so many ways to live. This is gonna be such a mess of a video to edit. <laughs> Just talking to myself. You know what, guys? I love you, and I hope you have the best life. <laughs> I I hope you just get out there and live. It doesn't have to be big. <laughs> it can just be a bowl of spaghetti on a roof. Do things that don't make any sense. Do things that just make you happy because they're ridiculous. That's the best way to live life, I think. So. I'm gonna stop talking before I get more and more and more and more corny. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done talking. I love you. Damn, I'm really gonna eat this family of five portion of spaghetti. So good.